A month after the Leicester Vaughan School switched to online learning, there's been no resolution as to when on-site classes will resume. This is despite the air quality and environmental quality analysis report for all blocks and the campus drainage systems being completed. CBC obtained a copy of that report. When we read through the report, the conclusion drawn by the expert was that um, there is no cause for concern with regard to the volatile organic compounds that are above the sealed manholes um, at the Leicester Vaughan School. The findings of the report were shared with staff during a meeting on Wednesday. Teachers saw the report and they said that even though the report stated that there is nothing to be concerned about relative to the volatile organic compounds above the well, that there is a possibility that there may be other factors within the environment affecting them. The question was asked of Mr. Ian Weeks, who conducted the test, whether there was a possibility that that could occur. And I remember Mr. Weeks made it clear that the instrument that he used for the test or could pick up any volatile organic compounds within the atmosphere, not only those volatile organic compounds coming from the well. And based on the findings, um, there was no cause for alarm. All of the volatile organic compounds, um, the concentration of those were below the threshold. Nevertheless, staff has complained about dizziness, lethargy and itchy skin, among other things. But Dr. Archer Bradshaw says they've addressed everything brought to their attention, including the most recent issue. The latest complaint was the scent of the sewer gases. And, and they said that they were they experienced the sewer scents whenever the rain fell. As a result, the chairman of the board of management ensured that uh, a smoke test was done. When he did the smoke test, he recognized that there were indeed breaches in the system and he moved swiftly to rectify those breaches. While it's unclear when students will return to the compound, classes are being held online and around 254th and 5th form students are being accommodated at other secondary schools to do their school-based assessment. And uh, I can tell you that the SBAs are 79% complete. Yes, with some subjects having 100% completion. Education officials are meeting with parents online tonight to determine the way forward. Crystal Hoyt, CBC News.